minutes. Uh, apologies for bad filming today. I'm on my own uh, in my studio in London, so we're going to do our best with it. Um, yeah, if you send me any messages through, <laughs> I can't reply to them until after work, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, we've got a 20 minute uh, sort of beginners low impact hit for you again today. Um, and yeah, we'll get started in about two minutes. We're just going to start the timer. So I can just about see in the mirror, so uh, if you can't hear me or you can't see me properly, then um, yeah, just send me a message and I'll try and sort it out. <laughs> uh, for now, we've got about a minute and a half until we get started, so we'll just start with a little warm-up, so just do some nice big stretches up, down, nice big deep breaths. So we've got five exercises to do, we're going to go four times through today, get that heart rate up. Started on Sunday morning, stretch those shoulders out. Good, let's do some hip circles for me. Good, and the other way. Good. Right. We're going to start very shortly. So first exercise is going to be some jogging on the spot with some punches. So just punching to the front. As always, first round, we'll take it nice and easy, nice and slow. Um, that's kind of your warm-up round to kind of get everything moving. And then we'll really push it in the last couple of exercises. So I've just got to wait for the timer now. Right, we've got about 20 seconds to go. So yeah, you don't need any equipment. All you need is ideally like a mat or um, a towel or just something to put your hands on for some of the moves. Um, but otherwise, nothing else required. Just you and your motivation today. <laughs> and we're going to be doing 35 seconds on, 25 seconds rest or recovery. Um, so off we go for our first one. So jogging out to the front. And punches. So, it's just like your cardio move just to start getting the heart rate up. Punch it to the front. So this is our second of two uh, like beginners workouts. So low impact, shorter intervals. And for next week, we're going to start pushing it again. We're going to go some jumps, so I'm just going to check that no one's saying they can't hear me. No, good. Right, so 25 seconds rest. Next move is going to be shoulder tap. So you're going to be down in the plank position. Now, for proper beginners, you can just be on your knees, that's fine. And what you're going to do is tap the shoulders here. If feeling good, like you can hold the plank for 30 seconds. You're going to be up here for the taps. Go, off we go. So keep that bum down. And what you're doing is tapping side to side on the shoulders. So come on the side, back's nice and straight, squeezing those bum cheeks together, and my wrists are directly underneath my shoulders. Try not to swing around too much as you're doing it. Really engage that core, keep yourself nice and stable. Up next, yeah, this one's not very nice. <laughs> Lunge pulses, so this you can do 20 seconds on each side. So I start off down here in a lunge position. What we're gonna do is come down and up. The knee doesn't have to touch the floor, just a couple of centimeters above it, and then we'll change the legs. Off we go. So pulsing it out. Good. 
Right, so that exercise done. Starting to breathe a bit heavier now. Next up is the reverse crunch. So, come down on the floor. Just to the side so you can actually see. Right on your back. What you're going to do is, you're going to pulse up. Make sure those hips do come off the ground. Tap the heels and up. So 35 seconds. Reverse crunch. So you've really got control the movement back down to the ground. And that's where you're engaging your abs the most. And up at the top, make sure you squeeze in those abs and get those hips off the floor. Nice big breath out at the top.
90 degrees. Hips come off the ground at the top. Heels touch the ground at the bottom. If you do want to advance it a little bit, don't tap your heels at the bottom. Then your core has to engage the whole time. Off we go. So drive. Deep breath in, get that diaphragm out of the way. I'm oh, sorry, deep breath out at the top to get the diaphragm out of the way. Your core can engage. Back's flat on the floor though, apart from when my hips come off the ground. Portugal. Oh, hi from Portugal. <laughs> hi Charlie. Hi, everyone. Nice holiday. Right, jumps and punches to the front. There we go now. That's what it's all about. So you can do these workouts anywhere. You don't need any equipment. The only reason I'm coming to the gym today is because the Wi-Fi, where we are, is not very good. I wanted to make sure I could stream the workout. So yeah, although I've got a massive studio, I'm only using this tiny little bit of space.
usual proper time while making drink from water. Nice big deep breaths. Catch your breath. Good. So reverse punches first. Tap the heels on the floor. Drive up. Make sure you tilt those hips off the floor. That's where you really engage all your abs.
heart rate busting ideas for workouts for you. Same format though, you're still not going to need any equipment. Right, reverse crunches, really drive up. So you're not trying to go too quickly with these. It's all about controlling the movement. Thanks very much everyone, have an amazing Sunday.